Ubugalo, Ubugalo. Doctor, because of philanthropy, by the way, some people will ask, how do I benefit from giving? Because of giving, Humboldt University spotted him as one of the greatest influencers in the continent of Africa, and they awarded him with a honorary doctorate. That's why today we address him as a doctor. Thank you very much, sir. The microphone is yours. Talk to the people and greet you to the president Mao. And ask him, I will still with him. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much, Mr. President. <laughs> Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to take this opportunity to thank the organizing committee of Kanye Hamba Foundation uh, for such a great work you're doing. Uh, I have a lot. Actually, I'd prepared my speech. I'd written my speech here. But uh, I see it's useless to, to read it. But uh, the theme of, of the day is living a legacy forever. What's the meaning of living a legacy? The meaning of living a legacy is giving something that will be valuable and treasured by those who survive after your death. I want you to ask your neighbor, after my death, what is my legacy? Just ask your neighbor. Honorable Minister, ask him. <laughs> after my death, where is my legacy? It's a great question with a lot of meaning. Kanye Hamba Foundation, personally, I've never met him, but he's the man that I've seen, I've followed. He's the man that has, in, has inspired me. I remember during the Supreme Court, I think 2001, election ruling, I liked his verdict. I saw a man full of transparency a man that loves his country. And furthermore, when I see he's having Kenya Hamba Foundation, this is a man that has seen all. He has lived life. He has met influential people. He has seen money. By this time, he would be enjoying his retirement, eating all the money, enjoying the life. But this is the man he said, I want to work for my death. After my days, I want to leave a legacy. Most of us, we are here. I've seen many Ugandans. We have a lot of money. Uh, corruption is at peak. I've seen, of recent now, we've seen uh, members of parliament stealing a lot of money. And some of them, they are buying buildings in London. Uh, some of them, they are having towers, hotels like these ones, but they don't know that after their death, there's no legacy. What do we work for in this world? Because what you're fighting for, what you're piling, is not for you. The Bible says that the unrighteousness, they will pile all the wealth, and then those who are smart and the children, they will come and take your wealth. So, so I have a question for you. Would you love to pile the wealth for others? Or would you love to leave a legacy? It's a hard question. Today I'm with questions. I'm sorry I started in, I'm a bit emotional. But uh, I'm a young man as you can see me. I'm not in the government. In fact, no one I know in the government who is big. Honorable Minister of Finance, I follow you. I love you, by the way. You're such a vibrant minister. You're one of the best ministers. That every time when seven is appointing cabinet ministers, I pray that they leave you, and he, my prayer is always answered. But I don't have your contact. Yes. 
I don't have your contact. You don't know me. I don't know you. Yes. No one knows me. But uh, I'm a simple young businessman. But before I used to be a man who came from a poor background. I used to make stone quarries. I finished my senior four. I entered the city. I started digging people's gardens. I, I cleaned toilets. But I had a vision. I said, God, bless me, make me somebody in the society. When I, you make me somebody in the society, I want also to change the society. And my entire life in serving humanity. Little man I get, I give back. That's why we have KD Foundation. KD Foundation is the only NGO, mark my word, I know there are government officials here, is the only NGO who is pro serving humanity or Ugandans without the intention of stealing. We are KD Foundation, we don't have a donor, but we are donors. I said, I will never beg for whites. I will never, my end year, I will never write a proposal to say, I have six children, have children who are, who are suffering ABCD. They sent me 10,000, I only use 1,000, and then the rest I buy cars. I said, God gave me a brain, I must get money, and I change the society. And what you've seen, apart from Israel and Palestine, where we gave 50 million US dollars, those are partners that came in. But for us, we also used the over 800,000 US dollars. But the, the rest, donors or partners, passed us through us to give the Israel and Palestine. But the rest of the activities, individual, me, I'm the single sponsor. When I get money, I give everything back to the society. And the KD Foundation we serve in the area of health. We have changed people's life with both ambulances. We've been to all parts of Uganda, Eastern, Central, Western, we're in, in Tongamo, ev everywhere, Ruhama, there, where my also comes from. And when I reached there, I saw those people, they don't suffer. They're also suffering. So I was there, we were there as a KD Foundation. Our next trip, we are going to North and West Nile. Mr. Nobat Ma, we should do. Uh, welcome us. We want to change the lives of Ugandans because we believe that giving is a heart. It's not all about having money. Many Ugandans, you, you fight. You have a lot of money. Most of the people, like you've seen here in Uluviji, some people are behind it. I'm told they want to build a mall there. And you hurt people, you destroy their, uh, their life. Yes, they have encroached in a bad way, but find a way of uh, handling them. Many people, especially here, Kanyahamba, I know there are chief justice here, uh, there is a representative in, in the judicial. We have a minister of justice here. Many Ugandans here, rich people, they are getting money to buy justice to fake evictions. What, why don't you use that money to change somebody's life? It's a question. Because what you're fighting for, you evict people, you put up a mall, but when you die, five years, you'll be no more. You have seen good people here. I'm sorry to mention someone. I'm sorry. We have seen like Zimwiz. They used to be very powerful, but where are they? Their legacy is no more. Their name is not built. But imagine someone who can humble somebody when he dies, can you humble foundation remain? Why don't you also fund up a foundation that you will be remembered after your death? Are you fighting to, uh, to leave a legacy? Or you're fighting for wealth where you live and others come and eat? It's a question. So today we stand here to celebrate the life of Kanye Hamba and to thank him, especially we as Kedi Foundation, that thank you for forming up a foundation that is going to leave a legacy, that is going to change the lives of Ugandans and others in the world. Kedi Foundation, we are here to stand with you. 
and to support the works of the foundation because foundation stands to serve humanity. Everyone is human. As someone who said, I think it's him who said that uh, beneath our skins there are bacteria that are waiting for us. As soon as you, you put in a coffin or geneza, you are now a candidate for rotting. But as you wrote down there, a legacy must be remain. They must, your name, keep your name shining or talking about. That's why KD Foundation, we say we shall be the sponsor. As Mr. S President said, I stood and I say, we are Ugandans. Um, I want to be the first Ugandans to change a mindset that you can also be a donor. Because Ugandans, all Africans believe that donors are whites. All help come from the government. The greatest gift that you can give to your, uh, at your government is also to change the life of a citizen. You don't need to beg everything government. Government, government, have a, uh, every Saturday I have a, a live broadcast about mindset change. We should thank this government. Yes, I know the opposition is here. We talked about the end of 40 years. Yes, it's good. But remember that this government is the only government that has given us ability, the peace, for you to live peacefully and to make money and to change the life of somebody. So before it goes off, are you doing something? Me, I'm proud of because it's this government that, that has given me the peace, the ability for me to be where I am, to sit with powerful people like Mama Media Matembe. I celebrate you. I follow you so much. Uh, uh, Mr. President, no, but Mao, you're my, inspira you're my inspiration, President. I love you so much. And great, great, great people. So we should thank President M7. He has given us ability because personally I've traveled all over the world. In Rwanda here, just buying a bicycle, you must be accounted. Where did you get money? But this is the government where you can get billions and billions as long as you're not touching his, his, uh, his chair, you are not asked <laughs> where the money is. So we should thank this government. It has done us well. Let's get up for a good government. So as KD Foundation, when you got this opportunity, we used it. I got the money. I have the money. I'm one of the youngest billionaires. And uh, in two weeks, I'm going to meet Jeff Benzo, Rihanna. And uh, after I'm coming with them, we are launching KD Smart City in Butevo. Uh, that's one of the visions. When you read about me, in the shortest time possible, I've done great things, but all is uh, about this government. So me, I'm appreciative, and I'm thankful of this government. I'm sorry for oppositions, but sometimes we have to speak the truth. That uh, much as you abuse him seven, you criticize it, you, we should thank it. That it's a free government, opportunities are there. It's all about your mindset. Some of you are looking for jobs, but God has given you the mind, the brain to do each and everything. So. I don't want to go there. But purposely, the reason why we are here is to launch Kenya Hamba Foundation and fundraise. We as KD Foundation, we have touched the lives of people in the area of health, the area of water and sanitation, the area of education, the area of relief and disaster. And today, I stand here to say that we shall support Kenya Hamba uh, Kenya Hamba Foundation with 5,000 US dollars as a contribution, as part of the foundation contribution. Because they are serving humanity. Everyone is a human. Tell your neighbor I'm a human. Some of you, each time you make a mistake, say in a relationship or business, you say, I'm, but I'm a human. I'm a human. So are you human? Do you practice what the meaning of a human? The meaning of a human is touching or changing somebody's life. You have 10,000. Get just 1,000. Some of you, if you even go to the malls, you find the security guard is just yawning, but you have money you cannot even give. 
what kind of of meaning of kodo of kodo wa without ya muluzungu ulunji mean uh, uh, yeah stingy yes you have money you see some of you is causing your death you have money you have bodyguards they're hungry why not you're not human but at the end of the day when you see, you make a mistake i'm a human i'm a human are you really a human if you're human make a change like any hamba is doing today like the foundation is doing today so kd foundation we are doing great things as a mama said as i conclude she talks about mentoring young leaders uganda we need young leaders our president is soon leaving the the stage like it or not 10 years or 20 years we have left the stage but you're the next to make sure that this country go forward and kd foundation has also a leadership a program that we've launched and this program we are mentoring younger leaders based on good governance and humanity because any leader who has a human human heart will never steal money will never be corrupt and if he's corrupt at least at least part of that money he will make sure that he changes somebody's life so with that kd foundation we have young leaders we don't mind which party you belong to nrm or fdc or whatever so we have uh, young leaders so so far here i've moved with some of the young leaders i've moved with allow them to i introduce them to you uh that are aspiring members of parliament as as lc1 chairperson as as lc5 and we welcome each and everyone to come to kd foundation and we are going to begin with seminars and we shall invite our great leaders like a, like mama matembe to come and talk to you and orient you about leadership because if you're taught good leadership tomorrow you'll be the best leader and this country we need that uh, uganda can move forward and uganda can have people with humanity people who serves and loves humanity and people that will change people's lives like our good professor Kanye Hamba. So I, I have my sparring members of parliament. They are part of KD Foundation, but they are leaders that we are trying to groom based on humanity and good, and good governance. Allow me to introduce, uh, yes, a stand up, a honorable stand up. I I have Jack South uh, Jack Central MP Chegegwa Happiness from Sima is the IT I have Ashraf Gaigala uh, going to take over a passes in Amuganza in Vukono is a young man yes uh -huh. I have uh, I have honorable Suleiman Sevagala the son of Let's Say Sevagala Kawan Penos uh, is there I, ha I have Ingenia the father Senjako, Kawempe South, is taking over Segirinya. And others, and I've seen young and aspiring members of parliament here we're introducing. Please, you all come to KD Foundation. I want to thank this opportunity to thank my good friend, Norman. Thank you for the opportunity given to us as KD Foundation. We support and we shall pledge to work with, with you as Kanye Hamba Foundation to make sure together we serve humanity. Thank you so much. God bless you. My name is Honorable Dr. Kedi Stephen Eric Zulba. I'm also the incoming member of parliament, Butevo constituency, former Palisa district, but it's now Butevo district. For God and my country, God bless you. Thank you, Honorable, and uh, best wishes in your campaign. Uh, I hope that everything goes well for you and also for your team. And for those of you who are aspiring to run for whatever offices, best wishes to you all. I hope that everything goes well. Uh, the good thing, you have the finance minister in the room. So you can talk to him nicely and maybe he, can, he might uh, make your campaign go... <laughs> okay, but uh, I must advise that uh, he has to leave. So... Um, I'm going to invite him to greet the people and also, just briefly, and also then we shall, I'll be inviting the Honorable Nobat Mao 
to greet the people and also close the function and not not no first of all declare the foundation formally launched and then he will uh, bid us goodbye but uh, first